Oh, this is Spellbinder with a Soho moment. This is a video from the Soho satellite. I caught some stuff on there again. This time it seems like there's like a oh, small UFO, about 90 on the disc. I got it running right now. I'm going to go there. This is what it looks like when you download the movie portion of it, where you download a hundred or so frames and then it plays the fl frames and it's like a movie but they're ten minutes apart what you're seeing here is the stars and everything in the background go this way like I said there's all types of particles and stuff or whatever this stuff is it flashes in there it gets worse when you have a, a CME or a coronary ejection that comes off of it mass ejection it comes off towards the earth it just it looks like a bunch of streaks and lines and it's staticky. It looks like static. There's a, a corona flare not aimed at us but away from us. It's off to the back side or off to the side. And as you can see, you can see all this stuff. You can see that part of my video I did the other day where I had the V shaped. This is running uh, well, from the 25th to the 26th, I can't get it to run the entire course. They have uh, ended up doing something. I'm not really sure what these dogs have done. Here, I'm going to step this back and show you the UFO, I call it. It's an identified flying object. Makes no sense. Remember, that's Mercury coming in on the screen. Now I'm going to go forward. I'm going to show you a speck. I believe it's this one right here. Keep an eye on the speck. Watch what the speck does. Okay, it went from here to here. Now watch it again. It zoomed back this way. Now it's here. It zoomed from here and 10 minutes made itself there. It's not following any natural course that's natural. It's intelligently driven. I'm going to do it again. There it is again. It moved from here to there. Watch it again. It's going to move from here to there. There it is again. Small, tiny, same spec. There it is again in the corona. Now you go watch it go from here to here. See, there it is again. It moved over to here. It went from across there. Now watch it again. Now it's back towards the sun. I think that's the last you see of it. Unless it's this is it again coming back out to here. Which I'm not sure because within 10 minutes this thing's moving several thousand miles easily. And then maybe that's it still moving away. And then it could be any of these specks here. Oh no, those stars are not, they're, they're not going away, they're staying. Then you got that there, that could be it. You got this corona coming off. And then... Is that it again? It came back? I don't know. It went out of screen, came back in? Not really sure. Like I said, Mercury, star, star. Probably not when I step that or disappear. Nope, don't know what that was. Very unusual stuff. This is on the 25th. You have this thing right here, which isn't a star, because when I step it again, it won't be there. Neither will this over here. Gone. Maybe that turned into those down there. See, and then maybe that shot over to here. Whatever it is, there's something that's moving not with the solar wind or anything. I mean, they're moving back and forth against and away from the solar wind. I'm not quite ever explain it. I don't think NASA has ever explained what you're seeing on here. You know, for each object that shows up on here, what 
they will say it is. Then you have this little thing here. It came into out of nowhere. And then it goes away. Then you have the corona injection. And I'm stuck in doing this now. And then there's this thing here. It looks like it just came out of warp. I think I showed that to you on my other one. Black square. Uh, data fault. But who knows? Maybe something's there like that. They covered up. Maybe it was too obvious. Because uh, we got 10 minutes to make a decision on this. Once they get the picture and before they release it before the next frame. As you can see, it does all this. You can see a little nebulous there. It's like a, I guess that's a spiral galaxy. It's coming in. I haven't went to look on a chart to see what's, what constellation this is actually going across here. Uh, whatever Mercury's in. And we're back to one again. Now I'm going to put you on hold and try to load the 27th through the 28th and that will be the last because the 29th and 30th didn't come out it's uh, data not available they're not showing something they're covering something up but I don't know why uh, I have another video to show too okay this is the last that you get to see of what's going on here as you can see it's the 28th I put in the 28th because uh, it ends after 34 frames uh, about where as you can see about 10 minutes apiece but jumps substantially after this object that appears over here see 9 to 18 and over there's that object again at about 18 as far as frame that was about 15. This thing here came up. And it seems like after that came up, things got shorter on here. As far as, see, 706. You got this object coming into the picture. 706, 718. See, they're still about 10, 12 minutes apart. 730. Starting to jump now. 7.42. 12 minutes. 7 8.06. 8.18. 8.30. 8.42. 9.06. So there is a big jump right there. Between 8.42 and 9.06. 9.18. Got some data problems over here. Something, like I said, I've heard this is cover up. Uh, could be a problem with the camera, but you notice it just jumped from, well, 918 to 13. There's 918 on the 28th. Suddenly it jumps to 1330 on the 28th and that's just about the last picture you see in here about up there and step it till it ends and that's it back to one again now watch this when I go to the 29th okay this is the 29th through the 30th no data available. No data available. Hmm. What happened? There's no data. Well, go well. Let me go to the uh, 30th. So I put in the 30th. Oops. I have to do my three. The zero. 30 to the 30th. That should be the whole day because it's about 12:11. So it's almost the next day, even wherever this is taking place, even if it's central time, or even universal time, 
it's about ready to change the next day so we should have at least a dozen maybe two dozen frames no data are variable it cut us out now I'm going to show you this guy's video on YouTube which is pretty interesting in itself this is uh, Mr. Take Back America he's found some pretty interesting things what's weird about this video is it's uh, silent so I'll have to narrate it through for you let's see what our friends at NASA are up to hmm. see what they're hiding what are we hiding today he's going to go to the uh, 3D cameras the front the forward and behind camera now that's a strange couldn't Soho move wait a little bit since there's a huge object near the Sun let's see yes yeah, so there's stereo footage on 11 22nd he takes you back to 22nd which I started out 21st so I couldn't understand what was this there it is again normal so normal here comes a nice little solar flare out again normal solar flare shooting out in 3d that's what I you gotta like about the uh, forward and reverse this is the uh, ahead camera this is on 26 34 frames of data then on the uh, 27th of 10 we see a very strange object with a comic like tail oh interesting this camera is in a little bit different position than the uh, Soho uh, Corona camera or satellite so it may it may catch things that that particular telescope doesn't catch then on 1130 that surprised two frames well as you can see on the Soho camera of the uh, solar obliteration for the corona camera there was no pictures no data available as you can see up here in my picture there's no data available on the 30th or the 29th but there was still now this is the behind camera as you can see stereo behind and there's this object that he points out on the 21st these two cameras are in totally different positions than the uh, Corona camera of Soho now they're two separate satellites that work together this is on the 24th this is normal as he says yes 25th now on the 25th 36 frames 26 36 frames but watch what happens next hmm only seven frames of data notice the Sun is getting very very flashed five frames thanks NASA you only gave five frames out on the 29th again zero frames NASA is obviously hiding this comet like object again the comet like objects appears to the to the right side interesting isn't it I think it was that's what made me go and take a look on here see if uh, the corona satellite was working and it's not working and I don't know why I'm not really sure what they're doing right now but I'm gonna go ahead and post this and let you decide what are they up to? What's NASA up to? Why is their cameras going out on these satellites? There's three satellites out there. Like I said, the one I showed you is the uh, Corona camera, the Las Lasco C3 camera on the satellite, and the other two are the uh, 3D ahead and behind satellites. All right, until next time, this is Bob Binder with this interesting observation of NASA. Good day.